Welcome back to the Kieran Khan Fortwood channel. We're back again doing the random kit generator and see if we could find any goldies or any dirty, ugly bastards. That felt harsh, even though I'm just talking about football kits. I, I might retract that statement. Psych. <laughs> oh, I'm a monster. Right, who have we got first? Oh, Stoke City 9697 home kit. Currently sitting at 3.6 stars. I think it I think it deserves a little bit more than that, don't you? Good fix stripage. I'm sure that's just an accident in the way it's creased. Uh the platform of the badge seems wildly unnecessary. Massive graphic of the badge just on there. You know, not the most inventive thing to do, but you know, I'm I'm okay with it. A6 being the sponsor and the manufacturer. Okay. I uh, think this is a four. This feels like a clear four to me. Oh, Bedford Sports 2018-19. Now, this is just a PNG. Well, it's not a PNG. It could be a PNG. It doesn't have to be transparent. But there's no manufacturer. And the sponsor is Temporary Power Solutions. Power when you need it. I actually need power all the time. As does the world. Because otherwise... Many will die. Good sponsor, I guess, keeping people alive. I'm liking I'm a bit of ingenuity with the stripes, with the hoops they've gone for here. I like how it doesn't disconnect onto the sleeve. It just continues in a straight line as possible. Big fan. Badge. It's, it's an eagle in flight or a hawk. Rarely, seldom seen with its arms all the way up. They're not arms, they're wings, but, you know... A bird has arms and a dog has arms as well. You know what I mean? The front legs of a dog are, are its arms, really, if you think about it. They're not the same as the back legs. So, um, yeah, they're arms, not wings. And he's standing atop a ball, which seems like a very common thing to do for a bad shirt. Not, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of that. I think three is right. Yeah, three out of five, I think, for me. Oh, oh, oh I've never seen this before. Where's this from? It's a five star. Okay, it's an easy five star, especially with that that badge in the middle. Champions, yeah, of um, absolutely everywhere. England. Europe. Planet Earth. Shocking. <laughs> Just like the kit, in a good way, because it's electric, isn't it? Um, I really like the colour scheme on this. I think, I think the pattern's fun, enjoyable. It fits really well. It's a bit like the Inter Milan away shirt from the other year, which was like yellow and uh, black. Fantastic. Love it. Five stars. Easy. Stockport County. We haven't gone too far away from Manchester, have we, boys? 97.98 away. Currently 2.8 stars out of five. But this looks relatively decent. I think it's got a poor showing based on the mannequin it's on, okay? It looks like the sleeves are massive and then the middle bit's really skinny or whatever. I'm sure that's not the case. I don't like that the Adidas is in the middle because there's just so much space over here on the right breast. I don't like that, that sort of panel and it's way too big. If that was smaller, move the Adidas over here. Jobs are good and Robertson's best bitter. Oh, is that Robertson's fruit suit but a pint? Now, that would be cool. I'm going to give this a free. It's fine. It's fine. But it has its problems. Just like you. And me. CSD Suited Pepper Quiz. 21-22 Goalkeeper Free. Wow, that's a mouthful. Just like this is an absolute eyeful. Soccer Place. Starbus. Is this the way to Amarillo? The resto bar and beauty and exo. And what, uh, is, is that, what is that? A reindeer? Hmm, some sort of four-legged woodland creature. And I don't trust woodland creatures. They're usually up to no good, like magic. Or leading you astray. I'm going to give this one an inaugural one. Who's buying this black t-shirt with sponsored of companies on it? Who? He's also wearing horrible gloves with no strap. Ugh, they look like washing up gloves. Embarrassing for CSD. Such height. More like such shite. <laughs> Wait, that's just really good content.
Club Deportivo Palestino, 1990 away. It is a Palestine kit. I've never seen this before. I've never heard of the club. That's cool. Fantastic colour scheme. Really, really strong this. I'm liking this. Badge is a bit crap, but I mean, that's probably an issue with a lot of clubs in the 90s, and especially uh, uh, smaller clubs. But the rest of it, really good. Adidas number as well. I'm here for it. Just that it's a really good colour scheme. Fantastic flag as well. Fair play. I'm going to give this one... I think a four is right. Just needs a better badge, doesn't it? It would be a 4.5, really. But I'll give it a four. Pour de Nome, 1920 home kit. Mmm. A Joma number instantly cannot be above a three. But the rest of it is sort of like some sort of digital serpent, is how I would describe this colorway. Um, this badge is looking a bit serpenty, you know? You know little, little lines like the belly, the belly of a serpent. Uh, green, obviously very serpenty. Ass. Uh, we'll, we'll say, um, sometimes there's a serpent in there. For some people, I don't know. Uh, each to their own. Um, Omega Group, double double chest sponsor. Not the biggest fan. I assume that's a badger club. Don't know why it's in the middle. Too much space over there. But I guess it's sort of weighted okay with the Ash and Omega Group sponsors. I'm going to give this a free. It's not the worst, you know. And I, I like the colour scheme. Rochdale 1985-86 home kit. Now we kick off with one vote and an unhappy Rochdale customer. What's someone from Rochdale called? Rochdaleese. It looks like it should be a Bolton kit, really, doesn't it? You can imagine a Bolton kit. What? Uh, that's probably one of the best sponsors I've, I've ever seen. All-in-one garden centre. What does that mean? What garden centre wouldn't be all in one? Does that suggest a garden, a series of garden centres which don't have all gardening stuff? And, like, you know, oh, sorry, we actually only sell watering cans here and no hoses or or bricks or, or assorted stones. Baffling, truly baffling. I think it's a fine kit. I get rid of these two, these black lines here, and you're looking at a four. From me, you're probably getting a five at that point, but I'll give you, yeah, I'm giving you a four, you know, decent, really like the sponsor. Sint Truiden, 1718, oh wait, now we all love Sint Truiden. A double-headed beast and golden palace dot B casino with, I assume, is that also the casino? That is a gigantic sponsor. Where is Sint Truiden? I've got to find where this is. Belgian! I did not have that on my bingo card. That is mental. I'm going to mark it down. Honeycomb as well. What is going on with this kit? I'm going to... Five! That's a one vote. I'm marking this down as a one. Uh, because, like, what is Belgium? No one really knows. Is it the Netherlands? Or is it France? Pick a side. Pick a side. Our dear Thistle. Now, this has to be Scottish. Um, it seems to be sponsored by an elephant with wings called Paul Stevenson. Um, and it's a red Macron t-shirt. This is a one. Stinks. Go away. Ace Roma away. Wow, I've never seen this before. Now, I've recently criticised Roma and said they've never had a single good kit. But this is going well in the sleeve region. I like this bit as well. Their badge doesn't look too crap here, despite the suckling going on in clear view. Deodora, I can take it if it's the 90s, so we'll allow that. Ass Italia. In, oh my god. <laughs> in a ass Italia. Inside an Italian bottom. Crazy to be sponsored by that. What? What are, they, what are they sponsored by the Greeks? Are they? Oh, that is fun. It's got like these look like two bollocks, two bollock sacks draped over the shoulders of whoever's wearing this. Unfortunate enough to wear this with two little Roma badges as the testicles. It's weird. 
I don't like it. I'll give it a two. Sampdoria, 2004 05 home kit. Four. This has got four out of five out of 31 votes. Well, it's a shame that I've just come along because this is clearly a one. The fit is early Fulham Tottenham fit. And oh, it's so bad. So bad. I don't like this. This is an English thing. All right. Stop doing it, Italy. Hmm? This is the most EDL looking St. George's flag ever. All right. I find it really odd that Italian teams also have a St. George thing going on. Baffling to me. And I don't like it. I wouldn't like it on our kits either, to be honest. I just have it just looks so naff. It looks like you should have some like an XL bully and like a, a Knights Templar on the left there. Weird one star. Guinea 2001. They've spelt Guinea wrong. Montedio Yamagata. Ho ho ho! Yes. I am learning Japanese. A Beam Consulting or Ab Eam Consulting. A new balance kit. You have a, like a pinstripe gradient going up, which, as you know, looks indisgusting. Awful. Where is Montedio Yamagata? It has to be Japan. It just has to be Japan. Yes, where is it in Japan? It's based in Tendo Yamagata, which sounds like a made up place. Because it sounds too close to Nintendo. No votes. I'm giving. I'm sadly giving this a one. Come on, Japan. You could do better than this. What is this? This is like a like a poor League One kit. Ursters if 2014 home. Now it might just look like a red T-shirt to you with a bunch of sponsors, but that would be naive of you to think that that would make this a poor kit. Team Sportier. Who doesn't want to be on a team during a football game? Good. Deloitte. I think they do something to do with money. Uh, good, I assume. Myers Johas. Sounds like a stand-up swell guy. IV product. That's good. An IV drip. We need those. Good. IST. IT for education. Alarming. They've spelt IT wrong. Profile groupen. Is that profiling groups? I don't think we should be doing that. A couple good sponsors, a couple bad ones. I'll give it a free, you know. I think that's fine. <laughs> uh, this is Come Knock Juniors, which I believe was maybe the preferred team of Mr. Jeffrey Epstein. Um, which is probably why Release is their sponsor as that's that's what they wanted that's <laughs> jesus christ i can't i've gotta oh yeah this is a one that's a one i've been your boy kieran don't forget to hit subscribe and i will see you in the next one guten abend that's good evening no good night good abend good afternoon isn't it i should know and i've forgotten bye or juice